Start by opening Marshall and tapping connect. Scan the drive and this will take you to the drive dashboard. To set up a basic PID configuration, enter fast start. Start by entering your motor details with your motor voltage, your motor rated current, your motor rated speed, and your motor power factor. You can then do a spin test if you wish. Then set up your control. For the PID options, you want to show the advanced options and scroll across. You can select PID voltage reference or PID with feed forward. You can then select how you want to run the drive and view a wiring guide if you wish. Then set your acceleration and deceleration rates and then your maximum and minimum motor speeds. The defaults are fine for this example. You then want to exit to the dashboard again and enter your PID setup tool. This first page will just give a brief overview of the PID. You can then edit your PID reference selector and adjust your fixed reference if this is selected. You can then change your PID feedback input and your PID feed forward input. On the next page, you can adjust your gains, your lower and upper limits of the PID, and then your acceleration and deceleration rate again. The next window gives you the option to change the how you enable the PID, whether you use drive running or a hardware input such as digital input one. You then select the reference used by the PID. So reference number one is what I use for this example. We then write this project to the drive and that's the basic PID setup complete.